Hello and welcome, my name is Leo. Today we're going to look at three different sets of screwdrivers. Why do I have three? Screw slots are of different widths and it makes life easier when you have several of them. All sharpen differently. You could of course have one set and sharpen extra blades, it just makes it easier having several sets. Why do I have three different sets? To differentiate between them. I take notes during this assembly which screwdriver I used and from which set. S for stainless steel, A for aluminium, H for Horotech. So the notes look something like barrel bridge 1.6A. It makes life easier during assembly, you don't have to guess and try several screwdrivers. The sets I have here are version 30081-A10, that's this set of 10 stainless steel ergonomic screwdrivers, also this set which is version 7899-S09, set of 9 anodized aluminium screwdrivers with elastomer coat and they are in a revolving stand. And the third set is Horotech MSA01.218-C, Set of 8 stainless steel screwdrivers in a revolving stand, very similar to the Persian set of 9, except there is no 0.5mm screwdriver. What we have here, top line, 8 stainless steel Persian screwdrivers, and bottom line, 8 stainless steel Horotech screwdrivers. Exactly the same blades, they range from 0.6 to 2.5mm. The top line, they are from the box set. The 0.5 and 3 millimeters are not shown. What I wanted to point out here is that the version set, the top line, not all screwdrivers are the same length. The range from 0.5 to 1.2 millimeter are shorter than the range from 1.4 to 3 millimeters. This is the same for the version aluminium screwdrivers. The bottom line, the Horotech screwdrivers, the length of them is the same throughout the whole range. Let's weigh them and see how they compare. I'll use the more common red one, 1.2mm screwdriver. The stainless steel one is 7 grams. The aluminium one is 3 grams. And the Horotech one is 8 grams. Personally, in regards to the weight, I like the light aluminium screwdrivers, but that's a matter of personal preference. Let's have a look at the measurements. The length of the shorter version screwdriver is 71.14 mm and the diameter is 4.23 mm. This would take too long, let's have a look at it this way. First of all, the Q-tips are there to separate the different screwdrivers and also to give you an idea of the size. Everyone knows the size of Q-tips and if you don't, you probably can't hear what I'm saying anyway. I measured the length of the screwdrivers, excluding the blades, and the diameter of the screwdrivers where you'd hold it. They are rough measurements. I rounded it here and there, and measuring the diameter over the knurling, you get a slightly different measurement every time you turn it a little. It's close enough to give you a good idea. The version screwdrivers, up to the red one, is the same length, and from the grey one, is the same length. Horotech, same length across the range. Persian screwdrivers, two different diameters, again up to the red one and from the grey one. Horotech screwdrivers, we get three different diameters, one from the smallest to the grey one, two from the purple one up to the green one, three the blue one and I assume it will be the same for the brown one which I don't have. Now if the diameter of the screwdrivers is too small for your liking, you can buy extra grip drums. As you would have guessed, you get two for the Persian screwdrivers and three for the Horotech screwdrivers. I've never had the need for them, so I can't tell you anything about them. My assumption is, for the Persian, they will fit the screwdrivers without the elastomer coat, but it is an assumption. You would have to check. Let's have a look at the handles. All three are very different. And the heads, the version are the same for both sets, the Horotech is different. Let's have a good close-up. This is the stainless steel version. The knurling is fairly coarse, you get a nice grip, it never feels like it could slip. And the blade is secured with a fixing screw. This is the anodized aluminium one, and the handle is coated with TPE elastomer. It's the lower section you will be touching, but it is more dense. You get a nice grip, I don't have any issues with it. Same as the previous one, the blade is fixed with a screw. Should you lose one, you can buy replacements. This is the Horotech one, you might be able to see the ball bearing there. 
I'd say it's the coarsest of them all. It feels nice, it doesn't feel rough. You get a nice grip with this one. Screwdriver blade, same as the Bergeon, fixed with a screw, and you can also buy replacements if you lose one. Let's have a look at the head. Both have eight sides to them, but the Horotec has four flat sides and four rounded sides. The Horotec one on the left, they are made of anodized aluminium mounted on ball bearings, and the Bergeon on the right, they are made of self lubricating synthetic Delrin. They both rotate very smoothly. And now, I'll show you how they roll on the desk. Stainless steel, aluminium, Horotec. The Horotec has eight sides, but can only rest on four sides, because the other four sides are rounded. The Bergeon has also eight sides, but unlike the Horotec, they are equal and flat. That gives it eight sides to rest on, making it easier to roll. If you drop the screwdriver, the Bergeon will roll further away than the Horotec. This is not the best example, but I must point it out. The camera picks up the colors differently than the eye, so you can see the difference between the 0.6 and 1.4 Horotec on the left very clearly. In reality, it's the opposite. You can clearly differentiate between the white and gray version on the right. If you are slightly colorblind, you would have issues with the Horotec. I'm not colorblind, but sometimes I'm unsure which one is which. It very much depends on the light you have in the room. The blade at the top is Horotec, and the one below is Bergeon. Both are made of hardened stainless steel, and both are 54HRC. They are of the same diameter, and they can be swapped around between the Horotec and Bergeon. One big difference between them. Look at the Bergeon one, and know the lip here. That, in my opinion, is very important. The blades come loose from time to time. They won't rotate because of the flat section. The fixing screw goes against it, so they can't rotate. However, when the blade comes loose, and you lift the screwdriver, with the Bergeon blade, the fixing screw will catch on it, which is what you want. You want to lift the screwdriver, and you don't want to leave the blade behind. The Horotec one, when you lift the screwdriver, the fixing screw has nothing to catch on, and the blade can fall out and cause damage, especially if it falls on the hairspring. Let's have a look at the stands. The Bergeon is slightly larger in diameter, and is considerably taller than the Horotec. The diameter is negligible, and the height, I don't think it matters at all. They rotate the opposite way, going from a smaller screwdriver to a larger one. The Bergeon rotates anti-clockwise, and the Horotec clockwise. Both bases have ridges on the sides. The Bergeon rotates nicely, and the Horotec even nicer. But is it nicer? It's smooth, it doesn't feel cheap at all. But I must admit that I prefer the Bergeon. I often overshoot with the Horotec base. I'd say the Horotec base is a better made base than the Bergeon. I just wish it wasn't so smooth and it wasn't overshooting. The Bergeon is considerably lighter. You can push it to a side. The Horotec is a much heavier base. It takes some effort to push it to a side. This set, the box is your base. I like it. It's all laid out in front of you, the numbers are nice and large, the tubes for the spare blades are color coded making it very easy to put the screwdrivers back where they belong, and it also has the advantage that you can put the box in a drawer if you want to. The rotating stance you could do as well but you would need deep drawers. The rotating bases, you will need to take out at least a few screwdrivers to be able to get to the spare blades, and you will need tweezers to get them out. I don't see that being an issue. How often do you need to change a blade? I actually prefer it to the large version bases where the tubes with spare blades are in front of the screwdrivers. Admittedly, I've never had the large version base, but I was put off by the tubes being in front of the screwdrivers. You hardly ever change the blade, so why would you have the tubes in the way? The large Horotec base with the tubes behind the screwdrivers is a lot more appealing to me. I think that's a much nicer solution. Back to these bases, the Bergeon is more practical. There is no color coding on the Horotec base. When you have several screwdrivers on your bench, it is much easier to put them back in because you have the color dots just above the holes. The Horotec takes more effort to put them back in and the numbers can be hard to read. You can't even see the 1.0 due to the light reflection.
Now you'll be asking, which one should I get? The answer to that is simple. Get the one you want. You won't be disappointed with any of them. Yes, I pointed out a few things here and there, but honestly, they are minor. It would be unfair from me to say one is better than the other. I like the rotating bases because they take up a lot less space than the box. Look at it. I could fit four bases on the top of the box. I wouldn't buy the large rotating base because it's way more expensive than the smaller one. For what? One or two screwdrivers which you can buy separately? I'd rather spend the money on other tools than a base. If I could only keep one set, that would be difficult. I like them all. I like the aluminium. They are nice and light, but so are the Horotech and stainless steel version. You only notice the aluminium being nice and light when you've been using the others and you just happen to pick the aluminium one. I'd probably keep the stainless steel version, but not in a box. I'd prefer the rotating stand. Why the stainless steel version? I'm sure the elastomer on the aluminium ones will be durable, but not as much as stainless steel. When I sharpen the blades, I sharpen them in the stainless steel handles. I don't like the idea of the elastomer in the steel screwdriver sharpener. It probably would be fine, it's just my OCD. Why not the Horotech but the Bergeon? Not because of the screwdrivers themselves, they are both nice. I prefer the Bergeon base, the Horotech is a better made base. I love to spin it from time to time, it's very satisfying, but I find the Bergeon base more practical for my needs. As I said, pick any you want, you won't be disappointed. I hope you found it informative, if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see what gear I use to create these videos, what my favourite horology books are etc, there are links in the description. If you would like to support my channel, there is a link in the description to buy me a coffee. Thank you. Bye for now.